Hi guys! Oh my goodness. Alright, I got Amazon packages that I kind of just... I thought it'd be fun to share with you what I got. So, I'll do this one first. Do these two things last. So this one... I think Tom got me. I never know what the thing is. There we go. Alright, so Tom got me something exciting. This is for him. <laughs> um, it's a Ethernet cord, I think. But he got me this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting one for I don't even know how many years now. I just, I don't know. It was one of those things I never want to buy myself, I guess. Um, he got me a jewelry cleaner. This is like highly rated on Amazon um, and I'm really excited because I, I mean, I clean my jewelry by hand with like, you know, vinegar, soap and water and stuff like that and I just brush it myself and it's, you know, it's kind of annoying having to do all those things so I kind of just do it like, I want to say once a month but I should clean it more often especially my rings, they always look so gross because I don't know, I'm always getting them dirty and stuff. So anyways, I'm so excited to finally have this and like try it out. Um, I got the white one. It comes in, like I think it was like a silver or black, but I chose the white because you know. And I'm just really excited to finally have one. Oh my gosh. Woot woot. I'm gonna use it later today and I'll let you guys know how it goes, but this is just what it looks like. I just wanted to take it out and admire it. I'm so excited. I know this is probably so random, but I finally have a jewelry cleaner for my diamonds and my golds. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Especially my earrings. I always want to clean my earrings, but oh my god, how cool. Okay, I'll open this like and use it later on with you guys. I want to show Tom. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Okay. And then, this right here is actually something I ordered. I honestly don't need this, but at the same time, I was like, I want one just for gardening. And wow, this looks... Oh, look at that. I wish Amazon would have shipped this in a box so it didn't get all dinged up. Let's see how the pen is. Ooh. What? It's not even in the thing. Was this used or someone returned it? Hold on, let me inspect it. It looks good though. I got extra fine. Okay, it looks good. I just wish it was packaged better, I guess, but... Okay, so I was very hesitant about this because it said it was red, but it, really it's like a chocolate brown. And it's on the, on the, what's it called, in the pictures, this part also looks silver and then gold. But no, you guys, if, oh my gosh, oh no, did I, okay. Um, but as you can see, it's a champagne, oh my gosh, okay, I am so much happier with this I seriously thought it was like silver and then gold but no this is champagne you got oh my gosh yeah I'm excited so I'll let you guys know why I got this um later on I'll do a whole video but Yeek, oh my god okay that's better than I thought I was honestly you know it was one of those things like should I even should I I did anyways and I was like, I can just return it if I don't like it. But, oh, I love it. Okay, okay, so that's that. Oh my gosh, I want to play with it already, but I don't think I have time. Okay, and then this is the ink that I got to go with it. I'm opening it, the box upside down because my address is on that side. This is the ink that I got. Diatramentous document ink in the color brown. I would have got bra black, but you guys know me. I like brown more, so. Full bottle. 
what else is in here. Anyways, I got this ink to go with this pen and I'm excited. I will do a whole separate video on what this is for and I'll ink it up with you in that video and all of that. So stay tuned, I'm excited. All right, hi guys. So I'll be inking up today my new pen. This is the, hold on a second. I forgot the name of it. It is the Pilot Elite 95S in deep red. And I got it in the extra fine and it didn't come with anything. It did come with a cartridge, which I actually emptied out. Um, this is what it looks like, emptied out. Just so I have an, an extra one. I mean, I already have one, but this is what I used in my Decimo, which is in storage right now, I'm not using it, so. Anyways, I emptied this cartridge out. It had like ink in it. That's why I have blanket ink all over me. Um, but I'm going to use this one because this is dry. And yeah, so as you can see, it does have that in there. Which I don't know if I should take out because this one didn't have it. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And I will fill it up to about there um, with the archival ink. And yeah it'll work because that's just yeah that's the same okay so let's do this this is the atramentous document ink in brown it is waterproof and all of that so i'm really excited using a blunt tip syringe to make this not as messy and i went to about there that's not a full 1 ml, if you're wondering. Oh, I don't have any water to clean this. It's fine. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the pen. Mm -hmm. Where's the bubble? Okay. There we go. All right. Oh. Is that? There we go. Okay, so what's interesting about this pen is I thought it was a twist cap, but really it's just it's just a cap like that. And it's actually really nice. Like it's a nice size, you guys. Like I'm so excited about it. So yeah, I'll do a test in a little bit. I'm just gonna let that go through the nib. I don't want to dip this. Even though I did already because I couldn't help myself earlier. Like I wanted to test um, the ink and nib right away. But it's fine. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean the syringe and then we're going to do a writing sample. Oh, wow. That was quick. Okay, let me do a whole new sheet because I thought it wasn't going to work yet. But here we are. Today is what's today? April 24th. Can you guys see? I feel like I'm in the way. And this is the Pilot Elite. wrong but that's okay this is a very pretty color and I'm actually really liking how it dries down um, it goes on a little bit more red I feel like but then once it dries down it's kind of muted and not as deep of a brown if that makes sense so I really like it by the way, sorry about all the stomping. Not sure why my son is stomping around right now. It's like, mommy's filming, let's make all the noises. Um, but yeah, I really like this. So far, it's great. I love the color. 
um i really also like this nib it's almost the same as the decimo which is by pilot it's not as fine to be honest um but pretty close it's very good though like i i like this i can really see myself using this a lot um it's very lightweight by the way like this pen is very very lightweight it's like a great pocket pen like really nice yeah i don't really know what else to say i'm very excited i didn't think i would like this to be honest i ordered it on amazon i did like a poll on instagram and i i was really wanting the platinum but we all know the platinum is expensive and this is for my gardening planner so i wanted a designated pen that goes with my gardening planner that will always have this ink um, because you know i feel like my gardening planner once i really start using it it's gonna get wet it's gonna get dirty because i will be bringing it in the garden and stuff like that so i was like i want a designated pen for it and ink in case it does get wet I, I want the ink to be waterproof. So anyways, that was my thought of it, right? And I was like, okay, a platinum is beautiful. I really, really loved it. The black one, I think, the president or something like that. Um, I'll link it below and pop a photo. Um, I really loved it. But at the same time, I was like, do I want something that expensive? What if I do drop it and it breaks and it's going to get dirty? So I was like, okay, maybe not that one. So I was looking and I saw that Caveco actually has a chocolate brown one, but it's $50. And I was like, dang, that's pretty expensive. But I was like, that's not as expensive as a platinum though. So I was like, okay, so I added it to the list. And then I saw this and I'm like, okay, well, I, I love my decimos. So I was like, maybe I will like this one. And I knew I wanted an extra fine nib, right? So I was like, okay. Maybe this is something. Um, it's $85 ish is what I paid for this on Amazon. So it's still on the higher, you know, it's higher range for prices. Like I still think that's pretty expensive. But I was like, I really don't want to spend $50 on a Caveco sport. I mean, if I'm going to spend that much, I might as well get this, right? I don't know. So that's my thought process. I ended up with this one. I originally had a black one in my cart, but then I was like, I'm not really a black color type of person. So let me get this one. If I don't like it, it's, you know, I can always return it and glad that I love it. Like, so I feel like on camera right now, it looks silver, like this part, the top of the cap. That looks silver, doesn't it? Um, and also, if you look on Amazon in the photos, it actually looks silver. That's why I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. Um, because it's silver and then gold, and then this is supposed to be a deep red. But in real life, it's more of a chocolate brown to me. Um, so anyways, if you ever do get this, just know that this in real life is more so that champagne gold color. It's beautiful. I love it. Again, I'm looking at the the screen on my camera and it's actually looking more silver. But I promise you, it's like a beautiful champagne color. Like it goes well with the gold. And this is not red. Like I barely see red in it. Like it's more so brown to me. Um, so I think this is a good match. Like look at that. I mean, you can definitely put a black with this planner but this is more me also i wanted something that will fit the pen loop so this cover the clear cover by hobonichi has a pen loop but it's very slim so like i was thinking i could honestly just use one of my sailors i have a brown sailor but the sailor pro gear slim doesn't fit this um loop but but this does see look at that I love it. So this is going to be great for on the go when I'm doing gardening errands and even like outside and all of that. So I'm really excited to get started with this. That is why I got this pen and ink for gardening. So anyways, that's that. I hope you enjoy seeing 
me unbox this pen and all of that and ink it up i'm just so excited look at it it's so cute and tiny oh let me do a comparison that'd be fun right okay i have a bunch of pens here but i did grab my pocket pen so these are considered pocket pens like i said this is like a pocket pen so let's just do that first so you can see there it is. This is the Pro Gear Slim Mini and then the Coveco. So I mean, it's it's a good size. Like it's so cute. You can see it is slimmer. Um, it's taller than these two, but definitely slimmer, which is really, really cool. So that's that and let's do it posted because you do post these when you use them. By the way, these are not inked. I'm not using these pens at the moment so there you have it okay so that's it with the Caveco Sport and Pro Gear Slim Mini now let's compare it to full size pens I have my Pro Gear Slim here let me Goodness. Okay. And then this is the decimo. So if you put it next to the decimo, that's what it looks like. And it's the decimo is slimmer. Here's another sailor. And then this is my platinum. And a Twisby, if you must. Or not a Twisby, um, Estabrook, and here's a Twisby. So, there you have it. Pretty good comparison between all of that. Okay, let's do posted or uncapped. So I feel like um, for this, you do need to post it because it is so small. It's just what's comfortable, you know. So with me, I would post that whenever I'm using it. My Pro Gear Slims, I don't post. I know, weird, but I don't post it. I don't post this one either. And I don't post my Platinum when I use them. And I don't post this, obviously. Oop, they're rolling. Let's not roll, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's do the Twisby. Okay, let me unpost this just to show you how short it is. So like I said, oh, look at that. It's like a bit smaller than the Pro Gear Slim. But yeah, it's, I tried to write with it earlier. I mean, I can, but it's just more comfortable. Like, it's a bit too short. So, there you go. So, there you have it. That is it without the caps. I wanted to do a quick comparison with the nibs. This is my new Sailor Extra Fine. So... Pro Gear Slim Extra Fine. Like, it's really fine. I love this nib so much. And let's do a comparison. As you can see over there already, it's not as fine as I thought it would be, which, to be honest, is not bad though. Oops. If I can spell, that would be great. So there you have it. That's a little comparison between those two nibs that are extra fine. I do have a decimal. This is my other 
pilot that's like a decimo. Wow, my son's really going at it today. So there you have it. It's like between these two. These two are really fine, you know? So let's do a line. There's that. There's that. And there's that. So there you have it. Little comparison with Liam and I guess my husband now singing in the background. <laughs> All right, so before I end this video, I thought I would give you a look at my gardening planner. So I do have a Hobonichi Weeks as a planner for my garden. I have started gardening, like really getting into it last year. And the way that I garden is pretty much just around our yard. We have a rather large yard and didn't really have anything. Um, all that there was in our yard were bushes and like not even boxwoods. They're just like hedges that are super low maintenance. They've just outgrown where they're at and we just didn't love them. So we took a lot of that out and replaced them um, with, you know, hydrangeas and just like pretty things that will actually bloom not just something green you know what I mean so that's kind of what we did last summer and then I also created like a front garden bed and then really filled in the back garden and all of that stuff um just so now we have colors around house which I'm really excited about um so anyways this year Aside from, you know, all the flowers and all of that, we are actually going to be starting a raised garden bed for vegetables. And that's going to be something totally new. Um, my husband did do it a few years ago. I want to say not last year, but the year before. He did grow some tomatoes and cucumbers and I think beans as well. Um, but they were in containers. This year... I really want to get some raised beds so I'm hoping to you know get that up really soon and um, start planting and all of that so anyways I thought a proper planner would be something useful because um, in the past year I've just been doodling whatever information that I have on random pieces of paper or even in my memory keep um I would take photos and then this is like progress of that and that you know and it's just like it's hard to kind of like refer back to and stuff like that so I thought with this it would be really good and just convenient to refer back to things so anyways here we go um, I'm just going to share with you kind of like what I have done. I haven't done much, okay? So this is, you know, um, the monthlies. And obviously I haven't done anything here. Um, I did want to do um, kind of like in the monthly section. I wanted to write down like what I did plant um, in these days. Like or, yeah, if I was planting anything, I wanted to put them in here. If I planted something or like scheduling pruning and stuff like that you know like what needs to be done that month I kind of like want to note it in the monthly section obviously I didn't do that yet um but in here since this is an April start by the way so it started the dailies started in February so um I did just kind of have some to do's there but it was still like, you know, too cold to do anything. So I started just kind of creating, you know, these. So this is the front garden bed and this is kind of like the layout um, that I have. And then these are the plants that are there. I do want to um, make a proper layout map in the back section of my planner. So um I'll do that later on but so far this is what I have and I, 
I wrote down like what kind of plants it is, what zones, sun, shade, stuff like that. Just things about those plants. And then this is a continuation of what's in the front garden bed. There's quite a few things in the garden, the front garden bed. And then um, over here, this is the back garden bed, kind of the same concept. Um, I also used um, fountain pen inks here, which is, you know, just so fun. And then um, this is gonna be where I write down the side garden bed info. And then, oops, I kind of made a mess there. Um, but left and right deck. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not done, but you know, I started. And then that's that. And then this is kind of like when I started planning. Um, I don't know, I just write random things down, I guess. I'm a little bit behind, not gonna lie. Um, so there you go. And then I did get some new plants, so I wrote down um, things about those new plants that I had ordered and then just notes and all of that so that's how far as I got oh here there's a sticker there because I made a mess I don't remember what I wrote here but um, I used my calligraphy pen and it like burped because I was trying to do calligraphy and yeah I made a mess but like I just love it so with these I'm trying to show you here come on Eh, okay, so there I use my calligraphy pens, um, which I will have a video of soon, by the way. I filmed it. Um, anyways, yeah, I need to catch up on this. I'm a bit behind. Um, and then, yeah, in the back section, like I said, I wanted to do a proper, like, map for the gardens. So I started off here. This is pencil. I have to redo it. I kind of want to center i don't know why i put it over there it's a little bit too far i need to move it over so good thing i did that with pencil because yeah and then um so this is the front garden but i want to do the map and then if i make any changes or additions i want to take notes here and then i have the back garden bed same kind of concept and then like i'll do the other beds as well um but yeah i definitely want to get started um on this and um, take notes about the race garden beds and all of that. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to keep you guys posted on this little planner. Um, I also, like, in the monthly section, I want to write down, like, you know, how much I've spent that month on plants. Because last summer and last spring and summer, oh my goodness, I kind of went crazy. And I spent so much, you guys. Like, it's insane. Gardening is expensive, okay? I feel like all my hobbies are expensive. I don't know what it is, but please tell me if there's a hobby that you do that is zero dollars. Like, just going outside, <laughs> go for a walk outside. That's, that's the only thing I can think of that requires nothing, not a single object. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just, oh my goodness, this is, it gets pretty expensive with gardening. So I definitely want to take notes of how much I spend this time around. Um, again, I ordered a few things online and I found some really good deals. Like I, I mean... I get now why people plan ahead and get like bulbs and seeds and start it on their own because it's so much cheaper that way rather than going to a garden center and buying it like you know I mean yeah it looks good already and it's like big already and all of that um but oh my goodness that can be so expensive so anyways I'm learning as I go and I, I've been really really loving it so anyways that is it for my little garden um planner um yeah I can't wait till this get filled this gets filled up and all of that I will keep you guys posted um, so anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and until next time. Bye!